Hey everybody. Today we're using R to do some inverse normal calculations. Here are the three problems we want to do. The first of them is to find the 98th percentile of the standard normal distribution. That is, we want to find the z-score that lies above 98% of the probability in the standard normal distribution. So let's head over to R. The basic command we're going to use here is qnorm. Um, when you're talking about the standard normal distribution with mean zero and standard deviation of one, all you have to feed qnorm is the percentile that you're interested in, the fraction of the area that you want to be to the left of the z value that r is going to spit back. We'd like to know the z score that has 98% of the area to the left, so we want qnorm of 0.98. And here we get z equals about 2.05. Notice that the input here was as a decimal not as um, a number between 0 and 100, rather a number between 0 and 1. Problem 2, find the value of x that captures, sorry, find the value x that captures 40% of the area under the normal distribution with mean 12 and variance 3 to its left. Okay, so here I think it's good to see a picture first. Here I've sketched the bell curve that has mean 12 and variance 3. And I want to know um, an x value that's going to have area of 0 0.40 to the left. So um, remember the total area under this bell curve should be 1. So we're really talking about the fraction of the area. Okay, so um, also note that the standard deviation here is going to be the square root of 3 because the variance is 3. The procedure now in R is going to be exactly the same except because we're not in a standard normal distribution, but a more general norm normal distribution, we're going to have to specify the mean and the standard deviation. So we do Q norm of 0.4, that's the area that we're interested in. Then we have to specify the mean and the standard deviation. Here the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So we find um, an x value of 11.56 which makes sense. That's just a little bit less than the mean. For x equals 11.56, we get 40% of the area to the left. Okay, let's go do problem three. The annual per capita consumption of oranges in the United States is approximately normal, with mean 9.1 pounds and standard deviation 2.7 pounds. If, if an American eats less than 85% of their peers, how much do they consume? So let's have a picture of this one too. This time we want an area to the right. We want an individual that is consuming um, less than 85% of his peers. So Q norm we know is working um, by giving us values with areas to the left. So here the area that we're interested in isn't so much the shaded area, but the unshaded area. The total area is 1, so the shaded area is going to be 0.15. So what we need to do here to get this answer is Q norm of 0.15, the area to the left that we're interested in, then the mean, 9.1, and finally the standard deviation, 2.7. So in order for an American to eat less than 85% of their peers, they have to consume about 6.30 pounds of oranges per year.